So, hi in time. So, you follow the training of uh, entrepreneurship, StarTech, which was uh, running under the, the INEO Space PhD project. Uh, so, could you tell us a little bit about uh, your background and yourself? So, my name is Intan Kusumaningrum. I'm a PhD student of a laboratory CMS, CNRS. I work on the microscopy, nanotechnology, and holography, studying the interaction between light and matter. And I, and I joined this uh, formation because I find it really interesting. I thought it could give me more knowledge and insight on entrepreneur, and I can get more skill that it correspond to my future goal. So what is your future goal? Is it to, to, to stay in the academia? Is it to make you a startup? I mean, have you already the idea of what you want to do later on? Yes, my future goal is I want to still involve in the research domain, but also in the entrepreneurship. So <laughs> startup can be, link? Yeah, start can can you... be the bridge of both. You know, so but do you anyone... have... Oh, do you sorry. have an idea how, how it can work, this, uh, having this link? Yes, uh, by doing uh, what it called technopreneurship. In my country, it's called technopreneurship. So from the research, product of the research, we can develop and implement it on the real world uh, through the technopreneurship. Uh, excellent. And this is inside the university. We are not that much developed. This is not much developed in France, unfortunately, this type of uh, thing. But uh, OK, good, good. So. Uh, which skills do you think that you have improved uh, following this, uh, this training? Yes, in fact, uh, there are many skills that I gain after this training because it's really opened my insight and my perspective, especially when we have to work together in a team with a person we just met. We need to be able to communicate our idea and we need to be able to know how to communicate because we don't know very well the person, but we also need to keep the synergy interpersonal in order to achieve the same goal. We want to build a good team and we want to present the best we can. Yeah, yeah. So you're right that uh, I didn't thought about that at the beginning. This is uh, a kind of difficulty, an additional difficulty that maybe doesn't occur in real life because as you know, most of the time you, you decide to go together because of some other reason than just a technical thing. And uh, that's uh, an interesting thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, which part did you find the, the most difficult in this uh, training? Well, it's, this training for me is very challenging, but it's fun. <laughs> Because uh, there are so many material, uh, but uh, because I'm enthusiast to follow it. So even though there are so many material, but it's okay. <laughs> I take it as a challenge. It's very cool. So, so you know that there they are also extra material um, that you can, you can also follow. And uh... Okay, in any case, I, I would like to, to thank you very much for your engagement in this uh, training. That was very great. And uh, we, we really appreciate uh, your work as well. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.